back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for something we've never done here on the channel before, and we are doing a WWE figure draft me versus my beautiful wife Victoria in the house as we prep for this draft here today. I, I mean, we didn't really prep for this. It was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I was like, baby, you want to do a freaking draft? And she was like, hells yeah. And then here we are right now. So how we're going to do this is we're actually going to conduct a uh, deal where I'm in charge of MDT Live and she is in charge of Vindication. So the championships will be, you know, you know, our, our regular championships. So I'll have the MDT championship. She'll have the Elite Championship. And at the end of the video, when we have our rosters, we will crown our champions we probably won't do any feuds or anything like that we'll just crown our champions and we will show an overview of both rosters like we'll put them both on like side by side there and we will put them behind us we'll show both of the rosters off side by side and you guys will pick the winner so be sure to stick to the end so that you can name the winner of the mdt wwe figure draft husband versus wife scenario that we got going on also i want to add that brodo live did do a draft literally the other day and it was just really funny timing between that so huge shout out to brodo live if you guys missed his draft video we definitely go check it out but i did want to do this husband versus wife deal and I think it'll be a really fun idea so uh you have anything to say you're going down you gotta get like you're going down <laughs> so a few rules before we drop you gotta redo that other part so I can say you're going down oh. do you I have anything else to say no take that out I don't get it don't ask me if I have okay. I don't have anything <laughs> So a few rules before we start, guys. What we're going to do is I'll give her the first pick, and then we're just going to go back and forth as we go. Again, we're going to go. We have like a pre-selected draft pool pretty much, and once that pool is ended, that is when we will show off the rosters and stuff like that. I think we have like 14 tag teams, and then we have like uh, probably, what, 40, 50 superstars or something like that. We're going to go back and forth choosing, and then at the end, we will see which, you know, how the rosters stack up and all of those things. And you guys will pick a winner, and we will crown our champions, and you guys can get creative with the feuds and stuff like that and what you think is a better roster all oh, you know overall another thing i wanted to add is that not every single superstar is available like we didn't put any i don't think we put any deceased wrestlers in here except for Brody lee slash luke harper i'm pretty sure that's the only one here so you know there's no macho man there's no ultimate warrior there's no hulk hogan I, I don't think is in this pool and i think we also left out stone cold steve austin so that's on me and i don't think we have Shawn michaels so yeah I do feel bad about that, but if you want to at the end, we could add one or the other to each roster or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and conduct the draft. Babe, you do get the first selection, so who do you who do you want to select with the number one pick of the MDT husband versus wife draft? All right. I did not prepare fully for this. We, neither of us really prepared for this. We literally were like, let's do a draft video, and that was it. Like, right we did not write. We literally just pre-selected a roster. We were grabbing figures, and then this is whatever's left. So whatever comes of it, this is what it is, man. I literally have no idea who I'm picking the next pick. So we'll see how this thing goes. I have my first pick. After that, bear with me. Y'all have some mercy on me. I'm not brushed up. But first pick, if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. First pick. That's Great first pick for Vindication's brand. Brad, she went with Roman Reigns. We also don't really have a spot to put our figures, so I think we're going to have to put them on the floor until the end, but Roman Reigns is the first pick of the draft. So for my first pick, hmm, I think it's only fair, and I know she'd probably select him next. I'm going to go with the GOAT, and I'm going to go with John Cena for my first pick. I have to go with John Cena. Been MDT champion before. You got to go with John Cena. I think that's a pretty solid pick to start off. I knew you were going to pick him, so I already had my second pick in mind. But I don't see him. <laughs> Who are you thinking? Randy Orton. Randy Orton's right there. Oh, okay. Second pick, Randy Orton. Randy Orton's a very great pick. It's kind of cool because Roman Reigns and Randy Orton are actually on MDT Live. So seeing them flip over to the other brand, pretty cool. Also, this doesn't have any barring on the pick fed or anything like that. Completely fantasy, kind of having fun today. So uh, we'll just kind of see. You know, you can play with feuds in your head or whatever. But my next pick in this draft, uh, we got figures everywhere here. So I'm going to go with, uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Kenny Omega for my next pick. I think that's a pretty solid pick. Maybe we'll have him feud with John Cena. I don't know, but uh, pretty good, you know, superstar right there. So I'm going to go with Kenny Omega. My third pick, I'm going with Seth Rollins. Oh, Seth Rollins. Nice. So she's got Randy Orton, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins to start off her draft. Still one of my favorite superstars right off the bat. So, uh, hmm. Let's see here. Got a lot of talent here. Lots of stuff going on. But uh, if we want to keep some, you know, some good star power going on in this draft, 
I think what I need to do, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'm going just, I'm, I'm going to go with CM Punk. Just recently returned to wrestling. I think that's a pretty good pick right there. Uh, you know, CM Punk, you never know. we got two AEW superstars starting off here, but I think that's a pretty good selection. Okay, I'm going with my fourth pick, Finn Balor. And that's pretty messed up but correct <laughs> keeping him on vindication very nice so victoria steals finn balor from mdt very interesting selection there i'm gonna go with <laughs> what i thought he was on vindication he is on vindication i meant stealing him from me mdt oh okay okay yeah. got it I, I thought you were saying he was on mdt live and i was stealing him from mdt live no but knows the roster that's a good that's a good thing for my next selection ladies and gentlemen i think I'm gonna go with... <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what, screw it. I'm gonna go with Jeff Hardy. Ah. I'm gonna take Jeff Hardy right here. Maybe I can treat him a little bit better over there. So uh, I'm gonna go with Jeff Hardy for my fourth pick. Oh, that, Fifth pick. That was my pick. That was your pick? Um, that's alright. I have a backup. I'm gonna go, go, with, go with The Rock. She's going with Dwayne Johnson early on, Brad. Good star power there in the draft. So that is interesting. That's a I'd very like good to pick. see him and Roman do something. That would be beautiful. That could possibly happen in the future. But uh, that was your fifth pick. Now time for my fifth pick. I th uh, There's a lot of star power here. I'm going to go with... <laughs> screw it. I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar. Yeah. I'm going to go with the Beast. You know, a lot of star power again. Early on in the draft, there's a lot of, you know, superstar ability. So I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar there with the fifth pick. In what world would you see Jeff Hardy selected over Brock Lesnar? I don't know, but, you know, there you go. I think with my next pick, I'm going with... That's a good Edge. pick right there, Brad. Selecting Edge, moving over to the blue brand over there. She's got a nice star-studded, packed roster going on already. I mean, I can tell you right now, both rosters are going to be really good because the draft pool is really good. However, she's got a great selection so far, so let's just see how everything pans out. My next pick, I'm going to go with my boy Kevin Owens over here so that Victoria can't steal him from me. I'm going to take <laughs> Kevin Owens. You know, i got to get my boy, got to represent, so there is my next pick. Kevin Owens maybe squaring off with some of those uh, stars over there on MDT Live. Okay, for my next pick, I think they're, that I can personally do more with him than was done, The Fiend. There you go. Bray Wyatt, The Fiend selected over there. She can do Bray Wyatt, she can do The Fiend, she can play around with that. That will be very interesting. So that was a good pick right there. A little, uh, little supernatural abilities going on right there with The Fiend. I don't know if I'm going to continue that little theme right there. I'm going to go, hmm. There's a lot of, uh, you know what? I'm just going to go over here. No. I'm going to take AJ Styles. Great little superstar right there. Pair him with Punk. Kenny Omega got a lot of great star power right there. So we'll go with AJ Styles. Phenomenal one right there. And we're not going to stick him in any tag teams. Much like Brother Lives Draft. Not going to put AJ Styles in the tag team division. All right. That was actually who I was going to go with next. So mm -hmm. I've got it. I've got to get my, my mind right. All right. Let's go. Let's look around. Got? Let me see who I got. A lot of talent over here as well. There Do is. not forget about this talent. Yes. Well, I'm going to stick to the sort of mask theme and I'm going to go with Kane. Okay. Interesting. Going with the flashback Kane. Very, flashback very nice. Flashback Kane just, it felt right. Something about it felt right. I like it. I like the selection right there. Going over to Vindication Steel. Remaining over there on the blue brand. So she selects Kane. I'm going to go with. Hmm, I think this is a good pick. I'm going to go with Alistair Black for my next pick. Keep him over here on MDT Live. I think that's a solid pick right there. See him square off with all that talent over there. So, all right. Alistair Black. My next. Got to stick with the dark theme. There you go. go the Undertaker. Undertaker. Tons of legends. Tons of star power over there right there. And yeah. she has the Kane pairing. Maybe a possible tag team yep, scenario. Yeah, some tag team ideas going through my head right now. There you go. So, Undertaker and Kane reunite over there on Vindication. So I'm actually, hmm, let's see. I don't want to break into the tag teams just yet. I kind of want to, uh, I know she wasn't necessarily planning like a tag team selection right there, but I don't know when the first tag team, once the first tag team goes, maybe tag team's just going to be flying off the board there. But I am going to go with my next pick. I'm going to select, I'm going to go with Adam Cole. I like Adam Cole right here. Great wrestler right there. You can throw him in the mid card, main event level. I'm going with Adam Cole, baby. Alright, this one's gonna, this one feels sort of random, okay. but I like him. Matt Riddle. Nice. I like the selection right there. Matt Riddle, great little talent. And she can make a possible RK Bro scenario going on over there, so got that in the back of the brain. There we go. So, my next selection, I think, uh, hmm. 
Let's see, there's a lot of star power still left in the draft, Brad. I think I want to go with... You know what, screw it. I'm going to go with Darby Allen. I'm going to take Darby Allen, keep the AEW thing kind of going there. And I have CM Punk. They're squaring off actually tomorrow night, so that should be an interesting little matchup. All right. All right I'm kind of a, uh, I'm stuck between two, but I'm just going to go with my gut, and uh, I'm going to go with John Moxley. Bam. So she has a full shield now. She has all three members of the all shield, three. and she didn't even have to take them as one unit right there. So that is absolutely insane that she ended up with all three members <laughs> of the shield, and I have zero members. So that's a whole little dynamic snagged right him. there. Snagged them right up. I'm going to go with, uh, John Moxley was a really strong pick at this juncture. I think I'm going to go with, uh, you know what, screw it. I'm going to I'm gonna go with Ricochet. I'm going to get some Ricochet action in here. Top pick, Ricochet right there. So there you go. Going with one of my top picks. All right. What are you thinking? I, I keep going back and forth, but I think I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre. Ooh, Drew McIntyre. Very nice selection right there. All the way across the room there. So she had to have been eyeing Drew McIntyre. Nice main event star right there. So Drew McIntyre is off the board. Still plenty of talent. We do have some holes here, but we are moving along here nicely. Ah! I don't know. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> I'm going to go with Pete Dunn right now. I'm going to go with Pete Dunn adding there. I got a lot of NXT, got a lot of, you know, indies talent kind of coming in there. So, should be a fun show right now. What are you going with? All right. I... There's a ton. There's still a lot of talent there's, here. Yeah. All right. Uh, this... Uh, okay. Going with my gut. Again, this just feels right. I'm going to go with Matt Hardy. Okay. Interesting dynamic right there. So the Hardy boys are split up They're there. Split up. Kind of upsetting there. You know, you don't have them in the tag team division. Sorry. However, Matt going over to one brand, Jeff going over to the other. So I now am going to select, uh, let's, let, you know what, screw it. Let's go with Orange Cassidy. Um, you give me a little bit of comedic value. Give me some good uh, opportunities there. I don't know what I could do with him, but uh, Orange Cassidy seems correct at this juncture. All right. I might make Mr. MDT himself mm. mad about this one, but I can do it. Dolph Ziggler going over Dolph to Ziggler. the blue brand. I think she's not even selecting a roster. She's just going for the heart. I am. I'm trying to win here. Well, roster she, for she, the heart. One way or the other, I'm going to win. There you go. She selects Dolph Ziggler with her next pick. I am going to go... Hmm. Do you want me to move some of these over here? Yeah, let's do that. All right, guys. We moved all the figures back to the front here, so everything's here. And we have, like, a few tag teams over here, but for the main, for the most part, we have everything in front of us, so that is better here for the draft. So for my next pick, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to go with Rob Van Dam and keeping him on the pink brand. Mm -hmm. I like the pick, you know, mm -hmm. maybe, a, you know, everybody's in their prime in this draft, so it's pretty good there. I know he's a little bit older in age there, but I think he'd fit nicely with that roster in the figure dynamic, so... There we go, babe. Who are you selecting? We were going to do that. So I had a backup plan, and I'm going with okay. Mr. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Beautiful selection. She's got a, a lot of Hall of Fame level talent on the roster. I feel like that's kind of where the dynamics of the roster have kind of shifted so far. So what I'm going to go with in my next pick, I think... I am going to go with Adam Hangman Page. I'm going with Adam Hangman Page. Fit him nicely into kind of, you know, we got some AEW and WWE mixed in there, but Adam Hangman Page is coming over to MDT Live. I really thought you were about to pick my next pick because you got really close. I did get close. Chris, Chris Jericho. Jericho. Chris Jericho, another great talent. That would have been a great pick, but now he is over there on Vindication. So a good pick for Victoria now. And, uh, hmm. We are moving right along here. There's still plenty of great talent right here. Uh, there's just Jesus. I mean, there's really a, a, a lot, lot of talent. Yeah. So, hmm. Be strategic. Or don't. It's, it's, that way hard. Can it's hard to be strategic. You know, you're looking at a bunch of people. You're trying not to be biased, but you also want these guys. I'm biased. Off the demand. I'm going to go with my man Cedric Alexander at this point. Good I like know. Cedric Alexander a lot. You guys know that I love Cedric. So, I think he'd fit great in with all that other talent that we have on the roster. Should be beautiful. All right, this one might be at a left field, but I'm going with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, great mid-card talent. Maybe uh, she'll keep him in the babyface scenario, you know, yeah. and uh, see how that goes. I like his 2016 babyface run, so that was a really good pick right there. Very underrated pick. And so uh, after that, still some good talent right here. I don't know. Should I go with the first tag team selection? I think think but i'm gonna take the bucks i'm gonna take the young bucks right here i don't know i just feel like you know they're one of the best tag teams in the world i feel like they fit nicely with our theme of our roster and you know we have kenny omega so we can you know we got dynamics there aj styles we could we could play around with that but 
Young Bucks are coming over here. Okay, well, I feel like I need to uh, keep the family together, and I'm going to take the Usos. Ooh, I like that. Nice little, so the Bloodline is over on the blue brand Got now. all of them. That's beautiful. And she has the Rock as well. Beautiful yep. little dynamic right there. You could have a full faction, so yep. that was a very nice pick. Good balance of the, the Bucks versus the Usos. Ah, hmm. I think... I want to take, at this moment, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go Daniel Bryan. I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan. Think that's a good pick. Again, fits nicely in the roster. Daniel Bryan's my next pick. All right. I'm going to go with Braun Strowman. There you go. Very big name right there. Great big superstar. I feel like he's one of the bigger superstars that we have. She may have all yeah, the big guys, I think, really. I think I have all the big guys. All the big guys. Besides maybe Brock Lesnar. She yeah. has selected all the big guys so far. That is a very interesting play right there. But uh, I have like all the vanilla midgets, as everybody would say. <laughs> with my next selection, I'm going to go with my man over here. I'm going to go with Buddy Murphy. I think that'd be great. You know, maybe he'll end up in AEW. I don't know. But for now, he's over here on the pink brand like he is in real life. So that's beautiful. All right. I'm going mm. with the... Undisputed Era. Beautiful selection right there. Selection. So she has three members. I know that I took Adam Cole, so yep. that's why she doesn't have all four members there. But you still get Kyle Riley, Bobby Fish, and Roger Strong all in one pick. You could, you know, run them in the singles division. You could have a tag team dynamic. That is a beautiful pick right there. Luckily, I did get Adam Cole. However, she still has three of the four, and that was uh, that was a that was a good steal of a pick right there from the tag team division. So now you have what in the tag? You have the Usos, Usos and Undisputed and Era. Undisputed yeah, that's a, that's a great start to a division right there. Ah, my next pick. You know what? I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano. I think, you know, got to continue the NXT Indies type of deal theme right there. I'm going to go with Johnny Gargano, and we'll see how that goes. All right. My next pick is going to be wow. Shinsuke Nakamura. That's a really good pick right there. Her roster is very interesting so far. I, really, I can't wait to see how it looks when it's all together because I'm really like, the way I picture it in my head, it's got like a lot of great dynamics going yeah. on over there. So good thinking, babe. Kind of pulling from all, all areas. Yeah, you got Hall of Fame. Like, you got good mid-card current talent. Really good stuff so far. I'm going to go with my next pick. I'm going to select... I only have one tag team so far. I feel like I should probably take another one, but I don't know. At this point, Point. I'm gonna take American Alpha. I don't know. I don't know why. I feel like them and the Bucks would tear the house down. So you know, Jason Jordan's retired now. But uh, for the sake of the video, I feel like American Alpha would fit great in any tag division. So American Alpha with her next selection, Brad. Who is she taking? This is hard. I can't decide if I should do tag team or another individual. Hmm. Still plenty of individual talent. I mean, okay. we're kind of running low a little bit, but I'm going with. Ooh, that was a good steal. Pac. Pac. Neville. Neville. Beautiful. Not wrestling Sunday, unfortunately, because I think he has COVID, which is so oh. terrible. Him him and Andrade would have tore the house down, but you know, it is what it is, Brad. I'm going to go with my next pick. I'm going to go with Keith Lee. Finally, give me some big guys over there. You know, she's got Drew McIntyre, Undertaker, Kane, Braun Strowman. So I got to balance it out a little bit and take Keith Lee. Better take a few. Got to get some of them, selection. for sure. All right, let's see. Next pick, Bradley. Next pick. I am going with Mr. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes getting separated from the AEW dynamic over there, but fits in really nice with the roster over there. I like that pick right there. For me, Brad, I'm going to select, uh, hmm, you know what? I'm going to take Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali, really good pick right there. Again, kind of tying in all like the athletic flyer. Got a ton of flyers over here, I feel like, so we'll see how that turns out. Maybe the mid card can be. Pretty competitive. Who are you taking, Mel? Against my judgment, I don't know why. I just feel led to take him. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, current WWE champion. Another big guy fitting in over there. Very, very nice Gotta pick work right there. With I some like of it. them, make them how I want them. I like it. I like the pick right there, Bobby Lashley. He has potential. Tons of potential for Bob over there. I am going to go with. The Revival. I'm going to take The Revival with my next pick. Nice tag team. Fits in great with American Alpha and the Young Bucks there. So, great tag team matches on the horizon for our division. Next selection. Very nice pick. I love them going got, New Day. Got the New Day. Kofi, Xavier, and Big E going over there. So, she has take Undisputed Era, the Usos, and the New Day. Very nice picks there. And that'd be a nice three-on-three -three scenario with the yeah. Undisputed Era, maybe. So, we have uh, the New Day and Undisputed Era over there. I'm going to select with my next pick. So, we have three tag teams. You have three tag teams now. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to take Samoa Joe. Samoan Joseph coming over to MDT Live. All right. Who are you taking? All right, I'm taking next Rusev. Rusev or slash Mira, whatever okay. you want to call him. Mira. I would go with Rusev, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Another big guy over there. He's Great Rusev little... on my brand. There you go. Just so 
you got the nice fix up right there. So I am actually going to select, we're, we're kind of narrowing it down here. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We got some good talent left, but it is running low. I think at this juncture, I'm going to take Rey Mysterio. Taking Rey Mysterio, fitting in nice right there. I'm Gotta... hoping you'd miss out on him and I just snag him up at the end. Hate to see it, Bradley. Picking up the veteran right there, Rey Mysterio. All right, that's fine. I'm going to take another tag team. Okay. And I'm going to go with the club. She's getting the club fitting in there. So she has four tag teams now. Very nice division building up right there already. And uh, plenty of tag teams left. So uh, we're, we're looking pretty good here. <laughs> I'm going to go with Tommaso Ciampa. You know, I got Gargano. Maybe I can put a DIY situation right there. Put them in the tag division. That's already looking good in my brain. So, uh, Tommaso Ciampa. Okay. Who my you next taking? pick is going to be Cesaro. Beautiful pick. I know the people are going to love the Cesaro pickup right there. Great addition to her division over there. All right, we're getting down to the last few picks yeah. here. Um, who would fit nicely in my brand? I'm gonna go with Andrade. I'm gonna take Andrade. Maybe I could pair him with Rey Mysterio or something. I just think that fits nice with my roster. Mm -hmm. Who are you thinking? I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm really thinking real hard. <laughs> Mostly trying to figure out some of their names. <laughs> uh, don't quiz me on who they are because nah. I would lose that one today. Just kidding. I got a lot of those. Uh-oh, I just dropped his glasses. Uh-oh. John, John Morrison. Morrison. Great mid-card selection right there, John Morrison. You can put it, it doesn't matter. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just smashed it into his face. <laughs> do what you gotta do. So John Morrison is going over there. I am gonna go with the Lucha Brothers. I think it cut off recording, but my next pick was the Lucha Brothers. We got Phoenix and Pentagon. Great addition right there to the tag team division. Pretty excited about that one, Brad. Uh, who are you taking, babe? All right, we have just a few singles left, so I'm, yep. I'm trying to be picky. Um, I'm gonna go with, all right, I'm just letting my, my hand lead me. Okay. Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara, very nice young talent right there, getting split up from kind of a majority AEW maybe over here, but uh, very nice pickup, good young talent. I am gonna go with, hmm, not a ton of singles wrestlers left over here, but you know what, I'm gonna go with Apollo Crews. I'm gonna take Apollo Crews and uh, we'll run with it, see what he can do over here, but very nice uh, pick right there late in the game. Okay. My next pick is going to be wow. MJF. MJF, nice singles pick right there, and uh, that is that is a crazy one. That's a very interesting pick with the dynamic of her roster over there. That would be very interesting to see for sure. I'm gonna go, we've really narrowed it down here, man. We literally only have like three single stars left, so I think I'm gonna pick I'm going to go with Christian. I'm going to pick Christian. Uh, you know, him and Kenny Omega doing war this weekend, and uh, I got him over here now, so okay. very nice. I was hoping I would snag him up because I have great I have great plans for him. Okay, so I the think he Miz. has potential, and I'm going to work with it. Yes. And she has very many dynamics. You could have an MJF Miz feud. You got uh, Morrison and Miz as a tag team potentially. You could run them in the singles division. Very nice pickup right there as the Miz. Four tag teams. I think I want to take another tag team here. And I think I'm going to go with Harper and Rowan. RIP to the legend right there. But uh, beautiful looking pick right there. I like that for my tag team division. Jurassic Express. Very I nice pick. pick. Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy going over there. Jungle. Very, very nice. Love to see it. Unfortunately, I do not get my boy Luchasaurus. Nope. But uh, we still have some good tag teams right here. I'm going to go with the Viking Raiders of the War Machine and the War Raider. They have a, the Viking experience. was like 16 tag team names, but uh, I like it. I like that pick right there, adding them to that tag division. Next pick for me, I'm going to do another tag team. We've only got three left and then only one single left. So I'm doing Street Profits. Street Profits, Brad. That's actually a really good pick. I like that pickup right there out of our uh, tag teams that we have left. I think, uh, I don't know if this, there's only one single star left, but I don't know if he fits in with my roster. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like, it, I mean, he could fit in. He's a really underrated talent, I would say. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'm going to go with uh, LAX or Proud and Powerful, and uh, I think that's going to wrap up my tag division, I think. Well, I guess it depends on who she selects next, so... I'm gonna take uh, the problem powerful. I'm having brain farts. That's what happens when you film at 11 p.m. <laughs> okay. All right, for my next selection, I am going to take the last single star, Seamus. Seamus is going over there, Brad, and uh, the only pick left 
is SCU. So, uh, honestly, she may have to take them. I don't know uh, how many tag teams she has. So, uh, we'll just kind of see about that. But uh, SCU is the last pick. So, they're either going to end up on my brand or her brand. But what we're going to do now is line up both rosters on, like, each side. And we're going to crown our champions, show those off. And you guys can pick a winner. But uh, let's go ahead and wrap that up. And I'll see you guys in the next segment. All right, guys. So, here is both rosters. This is Victoria's roster over here. And for some reason, it looks like she has way more than me. And mine is over here. So, I'm going to do a quick little screen grab so you guys can see here. And uh, you have our tag team division in the back back there with New Day, Jurassic Express, Usos, Undisputed Era, The Club, Street Profits, and SCU. And then up front, you guys can see her champions right here. She has Finn Balor as the elite champion. She has Drew McIntyre as the revolutionary champion. Good mid-card wrestler right there. Going to put him in the mid-card. Over here, kind of funny, but she has Cody Rhodes as the Iron Man champion, which is actually legitimate. And then she has the Undisputed Era as her her tag team champion so very nice little roster right here and this is her full roster so you got roman reigns edge randy orton finn balor the rock undertaker chris jericho seth rollins cody rhodes the fiend shinsuke kurt angle tons of great names over here on this side so if you guys want to take a good look at that there is that side and then if we come over here you guys will see my side and my champion so for my champions guys i went with john cena as the mdt champion you know he's been champion before i think it makes sense darby allen as extreme champion i think that'd be really fun with the way his style is how crazy he is him and jeff hardy him and kevin owens tons of great talent in that division we have the united states champion as ricochet and then our tag team champions in the back there is going to be the young bucks so one thing i will say i think my tag division is stacked like i love my tag division i think my tag division did really well there you got the young bucks the Revival, the Lucha Brothers, you got the War, you got War Machine, American Alpha, DIY over there with Ciampa and Gargano, you got Proud and Powerful, and then you have Harper and Rowan. Really strong tag division, I think it's pretty nice over there, I enjoy that. And then some of the notable names, AJ Styles, Kenny Omega, John Cena, CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, you got Ricochet, Aleister Black, Adam Cole, Kevin Owens, Rob Van Dam, Rey Mysterio, Daniel Bryan, Andrade, Adam Hangman Page, so very nice, man. I think, like, one thing I was telling her, I feel like maybe, like, true wrestling in-ring talent, maybe my roster is a little bit stronger but i feel like hers has more you know a more dynamic to it it's got more like characters and it's got you know a lot of stuff at play there she also has the demon finn balor if possible you got rated rko possibly you got rk bro and uh, you have the bloodline you got roman reigns and the rock so tons of great stuff over there and i guess at the end of the day if you wanted to split up stone cold and hbk you know they weren't part of it but maybe you could put stone cold on my side hbk over here or vice versa whichever one is better but who won down in the comment section below L ladies and gentlemen let me know who who won the draft there, but pretty fun overall. I had a ton of fun doing this. Maybe we can do this every year, and we can kind of, you know, keep up the record with who won, but I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I think it's pretty tough, you know, between both rosters. I think she did a fantastic job drafting her roster, guys, but let me know down below. Did Vindication slash Victoria slash Face Wife win the draft, or did MDT and MDT Live bring it home over here, man? Let me know down below, but I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video, babe. Do you have any last thoughts or, uh, you know, any words for your roster? I think for no practice, on the fly, I did pretty well. I would agree with that, Brad. I would agree with that. I like it. You know, maybe next time we can have women or something like that, get a little more breakdown. But uh, let me know down below, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to wrap up the draft. Thank you guys so very much. Let us know who won down in the comment section. Maybe I can put a poll as well. We'll have to see. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And don't cross the line like, uh, hmm. Like I did by beating you. Ooh. Boom.